Amy? Hi Gareth, commiserations. Um, just wanted to ask about Lauren Hemp, obviously came off quite early in that first half with the knock. Is there, was it a precaution? She seemed to be looking all right walking down the tunnel. Yeah, I, I basically think she couldn't continue, Amy. So um, it's uh, it was a bit of a blow, especially happening uh, at that moment in the game where I felt um, Lauren and, and Chloe were having some real joy out wide against their fullbacks. Um, but these things happen. Sometimes we have to uh, manage that. It's unfortunate, um, especially in the kind of final game of pre-season. So we'll just have to see how she is and, and how she recovers. And just a quick follow-up on it, the sending off for Jill, do you think that's where the game kind of kind of turned and, and Chelsea really got to to dominate those final stages? Yeah, it was definitely a game-changer. Um, took me by surprise, in, in all honesty, because um, I, I really didn't think there was much in it. I probably need to see it again on a few occasions. But um, yeah, obviously then it's going to be a little bit difficult because I thought until that point it was um, quite a close game. Um, both teams had some opportunities, some good opportunities. Um, but that obviously is going to be different. Thanks, Gareth. Thanks, Amy. Um, Emma Sanders? Hi, Gareth. Thanks for speaking with us. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to follow up a little bit of what you said on, on Hemp there about, um, you know, I guess, the success that she was having down that wing and obviously Chloe Kelly as well and what Georgia Samway had, had another good game. What... What is the potential for these young England players that, that you've got in your team? And obviously Esme Morgan as well. She, she had a good game today as well, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, pleasing. Yeah, you know, young players going out and performing on a on a big stage. And it's um you know, I think the one thing I felt about the game from both teams really, it was quite a slow game and sometimes the occasion can be difficult, the big spaces on the pitch and obviously the weirdness of having those supporters in there as well, kind of giving you that extra bit of energy. Um but yeah, like you said, those young players have got that real good experience under their belt now. And uh, like you say, you know, they, re they gave a really good account of themselves. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. Katie? Um, hi, Gareth. Commiserations. Um, I was wondering if you could give a little bit of an insight into what it was like for you to take your sort of first competitive game at Wembley and to have a bit of a showpiece occasion and what it was like sort of managing the team through the different restrictions that you've had in place for coronavirus as well in this first game. Yeah, it was, uh, well, first of all, it was like a, a real honour to lead out uh, a City team at Wembley. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed every single moment of it obviously not the result, but um, it kind of felt a little bit strange, if I'm honest, uh, especially in a big stadium that was empty. So, um, yeah, the one thing I could kind of hear initially was my voice echoing around the stadium. So, um, yeah, it, great, great occasion. Um, you know, take my hat off to the, to the, to the FA and the WSL for organising this fixture. And, um, you know, it was a, it was a, good opening game for us. Um, one that obviously we're disappointed to not be successful in, but um, we're really looking forward to, to the rest of the season now and all the competitions as well. Um, and a quick follow-up. Did you, in the build-up to this game, take any advice from players like Steph or Jill that have played here a few times and sort of know what it's like to play at a stadium like this? Yeah, a little bit. I think um, that was taken into consideration in, in, the, in, the, in the start. We're quite low. Uh, on, on kind of um, able bodies, if you like, at the moment. We're, we're waiting on a, on a couple of players. So um, that was difficult in that respect. But, you know, the, like I say, the young players especially um, would have been a new experience for, for some of them. And the likes of Steph and Jill would have played in this venue on, on a number of occasions. So, yeah, trying to draw on that experience, I think, for myself and for the young players was really important. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. Last check for any questions, anybody? Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.